So step number one, ready? Step number two. Step number three, you grab the coin. Now you notice I tend to look at it because if I look at it, you look at it. <laughs> All right? Okay? All right, so um, let's do it together. Let's do it together. Ready? Ready? One, two, three. You're good. You're good. Good, good. That's good. Go, go on. Get the thumb underneath. Put the thumb underneath. Okay, all right. Can I have your attention, please? Now, because you're so talented and because you got it so easily, I'm going to give you a little bit extra challenge. Okay, what I'd like you to do right now is to think of a passion, something that you really enjoy doing and, well, something that you can publicly share with us. Um, a passion, so, and, and, and let us know what that passion is. What, what's, a, what's a passion that you're, something you really like Travel. doing? Travel. Traveling. Okay, traveling, that's a good one. Golf. Golf, oh, okay. Hockey. Hockey, okay, travel, golf, hockey, okay. So what I'm going to ask you to do is I'm going to ask you to, instead of just performing the French drop, I'd like you to tell a little story around your passion. So I was playing golf, and I was in a deep sand trap, and I couldn't see the green. All I could see was like the top of the flag up there. So I hit my shot, it looked great. It looked like it was going you know, right at the flag. And I walked up, and I look, and I look on the green, and there's no ball. And I look at my caddy, and he's raking the trap. So he didn't see it either. So I'm looking. I'm like, oh, there's only one place it could be, right? Got to be in the hole, right? So I walk over. <laughs> it's a big green. Big. Walking. OK. Reach over, and I look down. And lo and behold, there was nothing in the hole because I'm not that good a golfer. It was in the pond. The greatest secret in, in, in the world, and I think in all of life and all of business, is a very, very, very simple. And that is the secret is not the secret. Oh. The reality is the secret is you. And I just demonstrated that because I taught all of you the same secret at the same time in exactly the same way. And yet the way you utilize that secret is completely different. Janet got up there and she performed it. She didn't necessarily, you know, it dropped out, but she told a story, which is half of what magic is all about. Neil got in there and he used the metaphor and he performed the trick. And Scott did the same thing. You see, everybody approaches it in a different fashion. I had a, uh, uh, did this once in, um, in uh, Europe and I did it with a group of people. One, one of the women was from France. And she got up, and she did the following. She got up, and she said, uh, you know, that she, I, she was the first one to perform the French drop. And she gets up, and she does this. And it drops on the ground. And so there's a pause, and I get up, and I say, you can do it again. And she says, no, no, I perform the French drop. <laughs> so what she did is she took something special of her and she applied it that made the magic work. And so what I've identified is that there are three things, three things that really determine your own magic. Your magic that you produce every day, the results in business, the magic you might have with your family or your friends. And let me share those three things with you. You see, I believe it's not about the secret, it's about your passion, your strengths, and your values.